reported a, you know, it's met street expectations in the revenues and margins. However, the profits have missed street expectations despite a 20% growth. Basmi Hussain, the MD of ABB, joins us on the phone line. Good afternoon, sir, and thanks so much for joining in. First, could you uh, tell us a little more about your order inflows? Now, that has declined nearly 6% on a year-on-year -year basis. What was the reason for that? And also, if you could tell us, how many orders have you executed in this quarter? Um, okay, if you look at quarter two from an execution perspective, I think it's been a very satisfactory quarter. Uh, however, from a market perspective, you know, the activity in the market as far as new projects or new orders are concerned, it continues to be a very, very challenging environment. You know, there's a growing and widening gap between, uh, you know, the sentiment and actual action on the ground. And, uh, you know, if you look at capacity utilization, it's an all-time low, the credit is an all-time low. So it's a reflection on the market that our customers are not really willing to spend money on new projects. All right, Mr. Hussain, thanks a lot for joining in. The question is that your margins have improved due to indigenization and other initiatives the company has taken from about 3.9% a couple of years ago to 8%. So do you see this doubling of margins as one sustainable, which we have seen over the last three quarters? And do you see this as peaking? Do you uh, expect them to get better from here or this is the top? Well, you know, uh, this is not a one quarter uh, uh, effect for the last uh, I think more than four quarters, we've been consistently improving our margins, and we've been uh, telling in great detail about what actions are resulting in this margin improvement. So we see that sustainable. As far as growth is concerned, I think um, uh, really uh, we're waiting for the market to turn around. As the market turns around and the volumes pick up, um, uh, clearly the potential to do uh, better and potential to do more exists. So considering the challenging environment, it's quite likely that growth for F516 will be in single digits, sir? Well, we're not, I'm not going to talk about, uh, as a rule, we do not talk about, um, you know, uh, future and let's, uh, predict that. Uh, but what we will say is that we will grow and grow better than market. All right, then. Could you give, then give us a sense of what's been wrong with the power systems and power automation uh, segments of the company? Because we've seen the top line or the sales on that one declining. Even the margins on that have been falling off. Well, the, the two are related. If you take power systems, you know, you're dealing with a lot of customers with very, very stressed balance sheets. Uh, and uh, for the last several quarters, several years, actually, we have... Uh, a mantra of uh, saying that we will put cash over revenue. So this quarter alone, we had, uh, let's say, um, in excess of 150 crores that we held back where the equipment and everything was ready, that we held back and did not uh, ship out because the payment mechanisms uh, that were um, there according to contracts were not in place. Uh, so, um, it, it is clearly that it is not uh, reflecting uh, any basic uh, or fundamental weakness in the system. So, in that case, can we expect a turnaround on the anvil on, in, in those, these two segments? Well, you know, I mean, uh, if, you, if you look at uh, earlier, uh, the past systems had been, uh, you know, performing better. Uh, this year, uh, this quarter, we see that as a quarter, um, you know, uh, event rather than uh, something which is, uh, uh, you know, uh, indicator of things to come. Okay. So we're trying to gauge which will be the turnaround quarter for a company like yours, or generally for an industry which is so capex heavy. Um, while you can't give us exact numbers, but directionally, if you could tell us, will Q2 onwards be better? Uh, has Q1 seen the worst uh, up until now? Well, you know, if you look at the market right now, you're lo seeing two things. One, um, you have um, uh, the demand has fallen, okay, the capacity utilization is low, and uh, secondly, the um, uh, investments are low. So I think first thing that has to pick up is the demand, okay, before people will begin to look at further investment. So um, uh, what I would say, is, uh, when will the demand pick up? I, I don't know. 
but what I would say is that um, it would take at least two to three quarters after the demand has picked up for people to begin investing in uh, newer, uh, in either upgrades or newer capacities. Okay. Um, two of your quarters which have done well, one of them is power products and the other one is um, discrete automation in motion where you have seen double digit growth. Is that sustainable? Well, you know, I mean, um, when we're talking about the market situation, we're looking at an overall basis. Now, that doesn't mean that there are not areas where there's growth. Take renewables, for example. I think uh, renewables, um, uh, with the clear articulation of the government policy of really going after massive solar, uh, you know, and uh, also uh, changing how wind, um, uh, it, it, you know, generation is to be incentivized, uh, I think has resulted in good, um, uh, let's say, reaction from the market. We are seeing good growth in the market for these, uh, these two areas. And uh, we are a significant player in the, both these areas, so we see um, growth in them. T and D part, I think, um, uh, where uh, a lot of the you know power products and power systems both actually have have a big play. Um, uh, we had uh, good shipments out of the. Um, uh, factory, a power product factory, and that reflects in the performance. So uh, again, I mean, uh, these things uh, you're dealing with capital equipment, so um, uh, you, you will see some variations which go up and down uh, quarter to quarter. But again, you have to look at the trend, and the trend I think in both these areas is good. Yeah. All right, Mr. Basmi. Thanks a lot. We we'll leave it at that. Thanks for giving us the perspective. That was Mr.